Welcome everybody to the World Tennis Network. I am Leon and I will explain you today the basic rules and regulations of tennis and I will teach you how to count. So you can follow a match on TV and understand everything and even if you like, play your own match. So let's dive right into it. Now normally every match begins with a coin toss. Whoever wins the coin toss is allowed to decide either if he wants to serve or return or on which side he wants to start the match from. Who serves will change after every game, but I will explain later to you what games are, what a point is and what exactly a set is. Now when you serve, your serve has to land in the box right behind the net. It has to be hit cross court. This means diagonal. After every point, you switch from the right side to the left side serving. So one time you serve from the right side diagonal to the left side and the next time you serve from the left side diagonal to the right side. But you are not obligated to hit your serve as an overhead. You are also allowed to hit it as an underarm serve. The return player, which is the player who receives the serve, has to let the ball bounce. If he takes it out of the air, it is an automatic point for your opponent. From this point on, you can hit the ball wherever you want to, but it should bounce inside the court and fly over the net. The outermost lines, which are also called the double lines, are not very relevant for singles. They are only used in doubles. The ball is only out if it bounces completely behind the line. If it scratches the line only slightly, it is still inside the court. You have scored a point if your opponent hits the ball in the net, if he hits it outside the court or if you hit such a good shot that your opponent can't reach the ball anymore. Now if your opponent touches the ball with anything else than the racket, it is also automatically your point. Now a ball is only out if it has at least bounced one time outside the single lines. So make sure you don't take a ball that is flying out out of the air, otherwise it is not your point. Counting in tennis, we separate into points, games and sets. Normally we play best of three, which means you have to win two sets to win the match. Now one set consists of many games. You normally have to win six games to win one set. This could be 6-1, 6-2, 6-3 or 6-4. In this case, you have won the first set and you continue playing the second set. But if it is five all, the set will be extended to seven. So you, you will have to win the set seven five instead of six five. If it is six all, you will have to play a deciding tiebreak. How a tiebreak exactly works, I will explain in a minute. Every game consists of many points. Now the correct way to count the points is 15-0, 30-0, 40-0 and game. You can consider the numbers 15, 30 and 40 just like the numbers 1, 2 and 3. This means you have to always win 4 points to win a game. Now if the score is 40-40, which is also called deuce, you have to win 2 points in a row to win the game. So let's say you win the first point at 40 all. Now it is advantage for you. If you win the next point, now it is game for you. If it is advantage for you and the, you lose the next game, it goes back to 40 all or also called deuce. Now don't forget, after every completed game, you have to switch serves. So your opponent is serving now. Let's get to the changeover. Generally, you switch sides after every odd number of games played. This means you switch sides after every first game played in a set and afterwards after every two games played. Let's go back to the tiebreak. The tiebreak is played at the score of six all in a set. Now in the tiebreak, every point counts singular again. So we are counting 1-0, 2-0, 2-1 and so on. You win the tiebreak if you make seven points. So you can win it 7-1, 7-2 or all the way up to 7-5. But if the score is six all, now be careful because it is six all in the set and now it is six all in the tie break. You have to win the tie break with a two point lead. So you would win it eight six 
or maybe if it's seven all, nine, seven, and so on. Now you switch serves in the tie rack on every odd number of points. So you switch the serves after the first point and then after every two points played. And the changeover in the tie break is always after six points played. How long does a tennis match usually last? There's actually no time limit on a tennis match. The match is over when one player has won two sets. So usually it takes around about one and a half to two hours for one tennis match. Between the changeovers, the players have 90 seconds break before they have to get up and continue playing. And between every single point, you have 20 seconds time before you have to play the next serve. I hope you understood the basic rules of tennis and now it's time for you to go out there and use your new accomplished knowledge on the court. But don't forget to have some fun. Now, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the WTN channel. This was it for today and I hope to see you next time.